Taurus. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 8th to the 15th of January 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So I have an announcement to make just around the quick fire readings that I usually do in the weekends. They are on hold indefinitely at the moment. Um, I have had a bereavement between Christmas and New Year that I am dealing with. So um, I've just decided to put that on hold. The weekly readings I'll continue to do and upload them all together towards the end of each week. So just bear with me while this all happens and we'll go from here. But we'll begin Taurus, 8th to the 15th of January 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Taurus. Three Arcanas in the past. Love it. Overall, Queen of Swords, pretty direct, pretty upfront, pretty brutally honest, um, but it may be needed here. Almost look here, this is, this is how it is, this is what's happening. Clearing the air possibly, but um, it may be a different approach, more direct approach towards something or someone that's needed. Past energies, I'll clarify everything shortly. Past energies, you have the Tower, the Fall, the Universe. Feel like you did take a leap of faith here and releasing a lot of energy that had been um, hung on to in the past and finally letting the dust settle and look at focusing on building something solid from the ground up. The time was right. Um, I feel like it's something that was hung on to for a very long time and it was time to release something, someone, somewhere around there and that universe did have your back through that process but it did take a bit of a giant leap of faith to do so wow present energies queen of cups three of wands princess of swords clarity seeing the bigger picture in the core of your reading whether it's something in a certain way someone in a certain way in a negative way in a positive way there is clarity here opening your eyes and seeing the bigger picture and seeing the big wide world out there and now you're ready to take that on bring it on you're proud of how far you've come emotionally but this new next stage is about to begin and you are ready for it Future energies, King of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, the Deceiver. I'm going to go here first with the power couple and taking action here, King and Queen of Swords. Okay, and very level-headed, very logical, able to use your head over your heart. This Wheel of Fortune is starting to pick up the pace, get momentum happening, bigger and better things, good luck, good fortune. Then you have this Deceiver doing its damnedest to put the brakes on. And hold everything up again negative toxic energy okay that you are having to deal with and trying to break free of those chains I think I had this in one of the other readings I said the Queen and King of Swords one foul swoop of that sword and that can cut those chains but there is still um, it's been aware that there's still something here that may be trying to hold everything up from moving forward interesting so Taurus, let's clarify everything, starting with the Queen of Swords overall. Princess of Cups, Justice, Ace of Swords. Said one foul swoop of that sword, but here it is, clearing the crap out and being able to have this fresh new start, this fresh new beginning. There is justice here, sweet justice and being able to clear that crap out of the past. Okay, could be dealing with a Libra, all about the balance as well but a fair outcome for the hard work you've put in and um, getting that result that works in your favor now there's love on offer here could be a younger energy could be a child could be a pet I always say but it may be that it's somebody significant here with this offer of love there may be an age gap involved but this offer of love you may be offering that to someone they may be offering it to you but uh, maybe also that whole different approach that's being taken around offering this love that brings you your sweet justice there wow past energies taurus the tower 
Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're left out in the cold in the past, ghosted, blocked, no explanation at all. You're still waiting for an apology. You may be waiting forever. It just may never arrive. And always say it's now taking this blindfold off, finding those detours, finding those other ways around things and having this new focus. And I feel like this is that tower energy that's releasing all of this out into the universe as you take this leap of faith on a different path on a diff than what you're originally on on a detour so the fall knight of swords the hierophant the sun yeah maybe some peer pressure being put on you um not to take this leap of faith but i feel like you stuck to your guns here you're following your heart your gut instinct you're following your beliefs it's just about not rushing into things while you've got the knight of swords saying slow down you've got the fool ready to take that leap of faith but ultimately there's happiness here there's joy there's a sense of freedom from lifting from what the towers released out into the universe and all this warm happy brilliance that is shining through now with that sun maybe dealing with a taurus you are also possibly around warm fuzzy feelings um, because this offer of love's being made but um, it's all about taking that first step back there the moment may have been right with the universe here king of swords the high priestess seven of pentacles all about taking action obviously we've got these swords again using your head over your heart you have got your guard up nothing wrong with that you are quite happy just watching what's going on around you and not getting involved in all the drama and all the conflict um, because things are starting to settle now you've put a lot of hard work um, in to get here to get things to start to grow to progress here but all in its own sweet time with that universe that you are clarifying but you are ready to get things happening present energies Taurus Queen of Cups the hanged man princess of pentacles the emperor could be dealing with an aries but i feel like divine masculine energy is stepping into the picture here okay this offer that's being made it may be a job offer it may be a offer on a home it may be an offer of love but somebody needs to make a decision here around an offer that is being made and if it's you needing to make that decision you're very logical you're very confident you're in control of the situation nothing's phasing you and it may well be an offer that is worth looking at um, if it's legal document read the fine print especially as we're coming into the three of wands where it's telling you to make sure that you do see things very clearly open your eyes here to um, see what's happening so that flew out the eight of cups the tower the star definitely something that is being released here something or someone that you had an emotional attachment to that has been released out into the universe but this now allows you again to see very clearly in front of you to be able to focus on your dreams your wishes your hopes could be dealing with an Aquarius but um, some sort of emotional detachment that is happening first in order for this focus to start um, on what you want and bring it on princess of swords here eight of wands four of swords knight of pentacles patience is a virtue i'm not a very patient person but i feel like it's just telling you to slow down look after number one make sure that all your ducks are in a row i'm going to say around this offer that's being made and in saying that the communication is honest open clear everyone's on the same page and you are getting the full story especially around this offer that's being made something's pulling me back to this offer all the time um, as I said a legal document reading the fine print but making sure you do get the full story and that you do have everyone on the same page and if it means slowing things down to do so so be it oh lecture over <laughs> Taurus <laughs> always sound like I'm lecturing future energies king of swords 
Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles. There is a partnership involved here, collaboration and working together to build something solid. Be careful of the deceptive energy. This painful cycle is ending, but there still may be a bit of backlash, a bit of gossip, a bit of backstabbing around that Seven of Swords energy as well. But I feel like this is something that, again, you're using your head over your heart, you're very logical, and you're taking some very swift action to deal with that before it gets out of control. But ultimately, there is working together here, putting some solid plans into place. Especially to the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck, good fortune. Hopefully for all of you, bigger and better things. Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot, King of Pentacles. Things are well and truly on the move towards success, abundance, getting control of finances. Things are falling into place. That success, you see that in front of you and suddenly this Chariot just starts to take off full speed ahead and that success is on your doorstep before you know it. Love, love, love that. Could be dealing with a Cancer, but... Um, it's here it's like winning the lottery almost something's happening overnight and you come into the deceiver to finish that flew out six of wands love that the hermit the fool victory and being able to cut yourself free from this negative toxic energy that is trying to hold you back nothing seems to be holding you back down here love that you are ready to take this leap of faith could be dealing with a virgo you're doing some soul searching some contemplation almost like that success is here suddenly now what you can shift the goalpost and go after something even further but the further you go the further away from that deceiver energy that that you go but it all starts with that next leap of faith you started back up here with a leap of faith and now it may be time to take the next step the next leap of faith right here so taurus let's see what the universe says just about through those everywhere temperance princess of wands the star be dealing with Sagittarius or Aquarius again very focused on your dreams your wishes your hopes here and where you are heading don't force the issue just go with the flow that pays off in the end ultimately down here still very compassionate very giving with your time and your energy but the focus here is on your wishes where you're heading love that so Taurus let's finish with open to spirit oracle Stay true to you, truly that's enough. Love the daisies. Just be yourself. That's the best gift you can bring to the world. Your vibration brings its own rich richness of color, sound and expression. You are unique. Your creation is no accident. Do not worry about what you are not. Focus on your positive qualities. Celebrate who you are. Be kind to yourself. Acknowledge your talents and the learning that your experiences have brought you. Stay true to you. Love that, especially down here when things are starting to take off. So that's what I have, Taurus. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.